All right. We're online on Facebook, Glocker Realty and Insurance. We're also online on YouTube, Glocker Realty and Insurance. I'm going to keep talking about that YouTube page because I want people to tune in and watch it. There's a lot of listing videos on there. Right. Past episodes of... There's a lot of stuff on there. Of okay. the Castic Glocker. Yep. That's what... There's a lot of good videos There's on some there. media up there. There's some content. Some I think content. that's the word you Content's a better word. Yeah. <laughs> media is... Right. Thanks for correcting me. No problem. On live. <laughs> on <air. laughs> Sorry, bro. No, nah, that's all right. Okay. So we're live. Don't have anybody watching yet, but oh, thank God. at least we're live. <laughs> <laughs> there should be some people tuning in, hopefully, to this episode. If not, just keep drinking. It'll be. <laughs> we're just there gonna, you go. We're just gonna talk <laughs> and drink. It'll be recorded to those for two platforms <laughs> for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> I think that people do come back and watch because I, we I, see the numbers climbing after we post the shows. Yeah, and if someone's scrolling past, it doesn't count. No. I think you have to they watch have for to a certain right. amount of time. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, people so. do that with ours as well. You guys have a YouTube channel too. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. What's the name of your Who YouTube are these guys? Channel? Yeah. We should introduce, introduce our guests, yourselves. Right. I'm sorry. That's okay. This is what we do because we've already we already we, we right. do it every time. We've already been talking for a half hour. Yeah. So <laughs> cool. But we do it every time though. We do because we forget and we're like, oh, we need to tell everybody oh, else. Wait, the show did start. Who we're Hold talking on. to. <laughs> introduce so. yourselves and then tell us where you can be found on social media. You go first. All right. Well, I'm Kendra Cook. She's the director of the museum. Oh. By the way, <laughs> I'm Autumn Jackson. I'm her assistant, uh, and, and we, we can, live in this building. We live in this building. Um, we can be found on YouTube at Boyertown Museum, um, Boyertown Museum of Historic Vehicles. Mm -hmm. We have an active Facebook page, Boyertown Museum, and we have a pretty active Instagram account, which you can find us at Boyertown yeah. Museum. Trying to hype up the Insta. So. Yeah, I mean, yes. it's, it's a great place for Instagram. I mean, pictures, it pictures, is. pictures yes. everywhere. Right. Yeah. I mean, so we're sitting here in the floor yeah. in the yeah. main museum. Yes, right? we are. Yep. The gallery. That's awesome. What's the address here so people can find you? Uh, so we're at 85 South Walnut, right here in Boyertown. And, uh, you know, we have a nice big parking lot that's right along uh, 562 South here. If people in town remember the old Getty gas station. Um, at the corner, formerly, before that, the mobile. Yeah, it was. Way back when. Yeah. That's our nice large parking lot behind it. So park there, go caddy corner, and there's our entrance. And you always have some cool historic cars in there. Yeah. Kind of yeah. If you go by the garage and take a peek ski in the windows, you'll see some cool stuff in there, too. Yeah. Stuff we're working on. And you guys actually on. use the garage, too, right? Mm -hmm. Do you work on cars over there? Yeah, that's where we work on the stuff. We used to do that in here before we had the garage. That's not really ideal for no. several reasons. For many reasons. Right, right, right. So now we have that building, and that's really what we use it for. Right on. Yeah. Now, getting back to social media, on your channel... You guys have a couple of different shows, series. Mm -hmm. yes. I watch them, and they're good Thank shows. You. Thank they're you. highly entertaining. Thank they're you. informative. Always Thank entertaining. You. I learn huh. something every good. time. That's you came great. to my neighborhood on one. You came to we the Light Foundry did. in Potsdam. We did, yes. On York and Walnut Street. Yes. And I actually learned something about Ooh. my own neighborhood on oh. one. And apparently you know everything. About the neighborhood. I know a so lot. So that's really awesome. About that particular neighborhood, my knowledge level is very high. <laughs> even, but I did learn something. And even though you still learned something. I did. Yeah. See? So what, wow. are, the, what are the series that you have on YouTube? So the one actually that you're talking about um, is a show that we do for Burke's Community TV. And that's Wheels Along the Road. And that has been on. Oh, no, wait. I I talked about it on two series a little bit. Okay. Um, but anyway, to continue that, yes, we have a monthly show on Burke's Community TV. And it's called Wheels Along the Road. And that's been on the air for 20-some years, I think. 
Yeah. So. Wow. Forever. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, actually, now I'm thinking the one you're talking about specifically, that is something um, called Where Have You Been Lately? That's it. Yes. And that's kind of our, so my co-host there, Dan Olson, uh, we find a like unique place or an out of the way place to talk about that you know if you're driving around and looking for something to do or like a unique business to patronize that's kind of what we talk about then and we try to find something with some historic value so yeah that episode we were looking at uh the light foundry condos because light was really involved in the early automobile industry in Pottstown. okay to a degree that still befuddles us because yeah. they just had their fingers in everything. In a lot of, yeah. lot of different stuff. It's very confusing. So when yeah. I was a kid growing up, the light foundry, they, it was still a welding shop. Mm -hmm. And in fact, my brother had this bike that always was breaking. And my dad would take it around there and get him to weld it back together. And then <laughs> I believe in the mid-80s, it became the condominiums that okay it is now. yeah that yeah. sounds right the 80s yeah i think it was like 85 86 yeah that makes like sense this. yeah 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 so i'm all that's what Beats i just me. said <laughs> yeah. so many words <laughs> <laughs> so you have you so have where have you been that lately? was one yeah we do and i do another one with dan olson um called motor mouth where we and that dan kind of takes over that one where he finds something in the museum and we kind of do like a deep dive okay. on it. So there's a car over here out of your line of vision that we talked about. Um, we've talked about, oh, you can't see it because it's way back there behind the big trolley. We talked about the gas station that we have on display <coughs> here as okay. well one time. So And next to the gas station, you have the old Fagley's Diner. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to go back and look at as soon as the show's over. <laughs> awesome. That's what I want to come to see. And I've been negligent in getting here. Now that I'm here, I'm going to go take a look at that. Awesome. Yeah. So that show you take deep dives into yep. items that are on display in the museum. Yep. To kind of get people interested to come mm -hmm. in and take a closer look. Well, and there's so much stuff about these cars and everything that we can't put on a sign. The sign would be. Right. Or it'd be books, and yeah. we just don't. We can't do that. We got to condense. So we always come across other things, or just things that are related. Actually, on one of those episodes, we talked about something called Southern Tread, and it was something he found while researching one of our cars. Because apparently, in the South, the tread was narrower on the cars than up here in the North, okay. and you could get a modification for your car to extend your wheels depending on where you were. Uh -huh. Interesting. So stuff like that we'll gotcha. talk about. Yep. Odds and ends. Yeah. And then for a while you had a show called Bumper to Bumper, right? <laughs> yes. yes, we did. It's, it's been on unplanned hiatus, but we are got to get back to that. That yes. was her and I. Yeah, we really enjoyed that. We did. And that we covered really cool stuff. Yeah, too. we did. All kinds of, again, mm -hmm. odd things, but just because, like Kendra said, there's so many offshoots you can go with vehicle history. Um, I mean, geez, we talked about, the, one of my favorites that we talked about was when we addressed um, courting, cars and courting. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how the car helped people court. Gotcha. I, I think it still does today. Yeah, like I'm not walking anywhere. On the well, beach. you could probably <laughs> if you were a guy that owned a car, you could get the girls that were further away. Yes. Like yes. before when Hello. you had the carriage. Yeah. But you, have, you could only date your neighbors. But even yeah. that's even exactly what yes. we talk what about. What if your neighbors were all ugly, dude? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if they had a hot car, you might consider it, right? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I That's give what I'm it saying. a shot. I, I, I mean, shot. I, I don't know if I'm going in the same direction you're going, but I mean, today even, you know, if, if someone has a nice car, they seem to be looked upon better well, by the opposite sex, usually. Sure. It's a status yeah. symbol. It's a status symbol. Or, which or course, that, or even, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, just saying, wow. That, you know, wow, that, you that, don't that have a DUI. Looks, <laughs> it, brings <that> person, <laughs> it brings that person up a level. And just, I mean, a cool car, you know what I mean? Yes. yes. And then... Uh, and yeah, and, and you know, if you want to impress your date, you come with, you might even borrow somebody's car just to, for that first date yes, or something. Yes, you know? yep. Or you go into the prom 
and you get the nice. Everybody gets a nice car. Yeah, yes. You know, the yep. nicest car they can find. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, it was it was a neat episode because we talked about that and we talked about like how prohibition um, in that time period, how that was. Um, you know, how, how that, what that had to do with cars and courting, because of course, before the 20s, it was like a very, you know, you had to get approval a lot of times from your parents or whatever to court, or they had to be there, especially the Victorian era. So up until that time, you know, basically you have, you know, during the 20s, now you're, this guy that you want to date has a car. Not only that, he can come pick you up in it, and you're going far away to a speakeasy yeah. underground somewhere drinking alcohol. Um, so it was just opened up a whole new world for uh, mostly women, of course, to be able to just kind of get out there and yeah. meet someone like like Matt said that's not from like down the road. It's like but ex like, it's exotic, right? <laughs> yeah, it yeah. literally it is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was really a freeing experience for these people, honestly, to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, sure, it had to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine you know, back in the day, right? You don't have a car. There's you might live in a rural area where there's no public transportation. There's no train or trolley. Exactly. So you don't you're not getting out much. No. Yeah. You're no. riding on the tandem bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and hopefully they fit on the back. Because <laughs> otherwise you're not going out tonight. <laughs> but it, it really was a neat episode. But yes, yeah. it's stuff like that we'd like to talk about. Um, we talked about Ford's assembly line. Bookmobiles. Bookmobiles. All kinds of really neat stuff. I remember the bookmobile coming to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bookmobile they, came to my school. Do. That was like a big deal. I think it's coming back around. They're they're I getting more popular, yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And even just the idea of like, we didn't touch on this as much, but even like the little libraries that you see all over the place, yeah. like it's just more accessible. You know, you walking, if you don't have access to public transportation or a, your, your kid don't have a car, you walking to the library might not be practical, but hey, there's a little library two blocks away and I can do that. And yeah, you know, yeah. Cool. And we talked about, geez, what did we talk about on that episode? We talked about the book ladies. So yeah. it was the, during like, what, the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Basically, it started in Kentucky, and these women called themselves book ladies. And what okay. they did were, was they literally strapped on like this leather backpack and got on a horse and took books to people in rural um, Kentucky that didn't have access to books and sat there and read to them and taught them how to read. Wow. So it's like really like that Kudos was honestly to the book ladies. Yeah. 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 That's the forerunner of the, the book mobile. Now yeah. then yeah. the the backpack started getting heavy, so let's get a carriage and throw the books nice. into a carriage. Up. Yeah. Cool. We we built bookmobiles here. At we the did. Auto Body Works where okay. we're sitting right now. Really? Yep. So yes. let me ask you something here too because we um <clears throat> It's just interesting to hear you guys talk because obviously you're the director, you're the assistant, and you're coming at this from the female perspective, right? Yes. And they obviously love what they do. Too. They do. Yeah. But it's just, it, it, and I'm giving them credit. I'm mm -hmm. giving them props. And I think it's interesting that you're hearing more of this female perspective at this particular museum, which I don't think is bad because... Uh, there's probably not a lot of female music uh, museum directors, right? You always have the tendency to get history from the male perspective. Yes. It's just interesting to me that I'm noticing I, when we sit down and talk to these ladies, we get more of the female perspective. Just interesting. Yeah. Just yeah. an observation. Oh, Agreed. I Agreed. love that. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Yeah, I mean, when we go to things, we're... I guess We're that's my question. Do, are you are you are you purposely making an effort to do that, or do you think it's just you're bringing that perspective because it's your perspective to the museum? Hmm. Hmm. I think for me and the way my brain works, <laughs> which is a scary topic, yeah. but <laughs> I think when I look at anything, you know, I'm looking at this car and for a, a car that's down this line, like. To me, my natural inclination is to say, okay, it was built what year? All right, what was going on here in the United States in that year? And I kind of, I don't know, maybe that's like a holistic approach or something. But when you do that, then you get into like all these offshoots. And if you just take the time and research them, you find a lot of interesting things. And sometimes that takes you to things that previously were kind of sloughed to the side, like okay. women or minorities or just something that no one thought was important, you know, but 
I'm sure it helps that they're women. I mean, you I, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you I know. Like it's uh, natural that we that you're think gonna, that you're way. Gonna, in because that. you're going to say, like, you're going to put yourself in that time and that place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And w- w- you're going to put yourself as a female, of yeah. course, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think, like, women's history <coughs> and women's history now I think it's exciting because we're living in a time where we're talking about it more, yeah. which is really cool. Um, so, obviously, you know, we're trying to keep like up with that so to speak in the sense of like telling um women but everyone that's listening about their own history and women's history um so i think you know that's part of it that it's kind of a a trend that sounds bad but it's a hot topic right now right and the car and the bicycle have so much to do with women's history actually um that we we could really just go on about it for hours i mean they're very intertwined right but yeah i think naturally we would just go from that perspective yeah and it comes I get to to further kind of my point, I guess, to bolster my point. When I talk to you, it's natural. It doesn't seem like you're forcing that. You know what I mean? It, it's a very natural conversation. The information comes out naturally, and you're telling her story, right? Instead no. of his story, yeah, I like her that. story. But no, that's true. But I give it. Thank you. It's coming across good. Thank I'm you. getting it loud and clear, and it just seems to me Wait, that. Wait, everyone, to the dance. There you so, I gu- so I guess, really, the answer <laughs> to my question, what I'm hearing is, it's it's somewhat purposeful, but then it's also just because it's 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 who you are, yeah, literally. Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, for I, me at least. Yeah, yeah, I agree, totally, 100. percent That that is what it is, and we we just love researching things. I think that's really important to remember. Like, no matter if you're a man or a woman or whoever, if you're in this field that her and I work in. You like learning. You like reading. You fall down rabbit holes constantly. You read one sentence. You're like, oh, man, look, like, let me go into this. And it just takes you there. No. Um, and people are writing more documents on women's history and things now. Like I was saying, it's just um, something that people care about more. M- more of it's being exposed. More of it's being exposed. Right. Yes. It's more accessible. I mean, the Internet has, I mean, the Internet for its faults also has done some really great things. I mean, there is just a wealth of documents out there from these time periods that before would have been very difficult for us to access you know they're not in Boyertown or even like Philadelphia but Detroit has them and someone there digitized them and now they're available for you to see and that is really nice I mean to (laughs) see all these periodicals and articles and photographs you know, we use the Library of Congress site a lot because they did a lot of great work, especially yeah. back in the Depression, with collecting things about this kind of stuff. And you still dig and you still find, but you actually get rewarded, you know. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. A little quicker. So that's also helpful, too. Cool. But, right yeah. on. It's neat. Now, I saw outside that you guys have won an award for the museum. Like, Best uh, museum, or yeah, something. I you think won more than one. That award. was last. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was last year, and actually, come on, brag it up. I'm, well, <laughs> I'm opening the door <laughs> for back you. Our signs. What yeah, else? I know. In my field of vision, there the previous years are up there. Yeah, we're really fortunate that local, the, the local population has voted us as an outstanding museum in the area for. Looks like the earliest year up there is 2013. Yeah. So yeah. that's really nice. And that's, like, heartwarming, I guess, to us because I know that is something that um, when I started, um, I think this museum wasn't really quite all the way in with the local community, and we really tried to change that and make this really be a part of Boyertown, and I think we've succeeded, and it's nice that people I think so. say thanks. Yeah. <laughs> How do yeah. you think... Was there any organizations or anything there? And I'm kind of leading you, but was there any organization in town or organization that you specifically teamed up with in order to get a little bit deeper into the community? Is there anybody you want to give a <laughs> shout out to? I mean, if you want to say Jeff and Matt, you, well, you can. You That's know, what we're digging for. The two gentlemen here <laughs> sitting at the table. Well, sure. Well, I wasn't going that direction, but I'll take it if I, I can know. get it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you laugh, but that is true. Yeah, like, it is. Just talking to you guys and just other businesses in town and the people that work there. 
I mean, I think we're on a first name basis with a lot of people and yeah. that is just so nice. And it's like, you know, you think to yourself, oh, we need X. Who could help us with that? Oh, you know who? John Doe over here. We know him. Give him a call. I mean, that's been really nice. And the community, um, that, I mean, Boyertown does do that often. I mean, they're always there to help. Yes. That's yes. The yeah. thing. Yes. You know, um, we have been probably annoying the poor ladies over at Building a Boyertown a lot lately <laughs> with questions, but they're so obliging and they help us and they've been great. I was kind of going for them, right? Yeah, yeah. BBB's amazing. They're great. You do yeah. a lot of stuff with mm -hmm. Build a Better Boyertown. Yes. They seem to be connecting different parts of the community mm -hmm. together. Yeah. And you have some great opportunities to connect yep. here in Potts. Or, yeah, excuse me, Potts Sound. I'm so Potts Sound where I am. Anyway. It's all right. You have <laughs> we'll, we'll let it go this time. Thank you. <laughs> you have some great opportunities to connect here in Boyertown, especially when it comes to transportation, right? You have this great vehicle museum. Mm -hmm. You have the train. Mm -hmm. And um, those two things in combination, any one of those things, would attract a lot of people. Right, right, yeah. yeah, exactly. But now you have two of them. Yeah. Yes. Less than what? Two blocks away from mm -hmm. each other, two or three and blocks I don't away. And I'm, I'm sure you probably do it already, but you guys should definitely be playing off each other because I'm sure it's like minded people. Oh, I want to yes. see the historic yeah. vehicles the and see part, the train. If people like one, they would logically appreciate the other. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's. It's so nice to see all this stuff going on in town because, like you said, they come in for something that might not be related to you, but they're here and they're in town and they're already made some kind of investment of time and money, and you hope that they stay and see the other cool stuff that's here because there's a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot. There's so much history there's, right yeah. here in Boyertown. It's nice to have a visitor come up to the counter when they're done here and say, well, you know, what else can I do today? Or where should I go eat? Or, you know, and you don't run out of no, things to you, tell them, yeah, you know, yeah. that's right. really nice. That's good. So I think the other thing too, that I want to try to make a segue into is because we're uh, almost at halfway mark of the show, right? It flies that's by. That's the story of our <laughs> life, isn't it all? <laughs> so, Autumn and I are talkative. <laughs> It's good. That's a good thing. We don't yeah. talk to new people a lot. It's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of information. You got us out from under our rock. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we crawled out. I think Here that's the opposite of what I'm picking up on. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's the snort again. <laughs> he remembered. She, he, Jeff's out there shaking the bottle of wine, and I'm crawling out from under my rock here. Thank you. <laughs> the, the snort was on our best of loop. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Yes. There's, there's it a was. best of. We gotta look at this. There's a best of loop. <gasps> oh no! Yeah. Send and us the guys, link. We'll share yeah, it. We'll share it. You guys are on it. You made. You made the cut. <laughs> yeah, Here's what I'm night. getting right, into. Right, round two. We're gonna try. So again. we talk about all the stuff generally in Boyertown that you could do: the museum, the railroad, the restaurants, the historical society. We talked about them, but we want to find out what you guys are doing. <laughs> Coming really? Up. Yes. Yeah. Can do that. So I want to make sure you we hit. I want to make sure we hit the highlights. All right. Yeah. There's and a couple also, things coming up. Yeah. There's a couple, couple things. So let us know what's going on at the museum. What's coming up? All right. Well, you this should start with the facade. I think you, you should adjust. Oh the facade. yeah. So I guess when you guys walked in this this evening, you probably noticed our sidewalks all torn there's up. There's a little construction yeah. going it's on. It's a little bit. Um, yeah. So after. So many years of planning, and we're just really excited to finally have our facade, in my opinion, match what's That's inside. Because, right. you know, we know it was rough looking, and, uh, you know, my office it has a window facing looking. it. It had a patina. <laughs> Oh my How about God. That? The board members will love you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, it had a patina. It had patina, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's so nice because, you know, we get the comment, we don't know where you are. Oh, we thought that was abandoned. And that's like, uh, I, I, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I will be honest 100%. Yeah. I, it, I, I, that's right. It was very hard to find. Yeah. And yes. it's not. It's your right. It's you're huge, right it's off of Reading huge Avenue. It's a building. It's, but it's yeah. Not, yes. But it's, it, yeah. Yeah. So Needed finally, to you know, Good we're going to spruce it up out there. You know, we really worked hard in here. Um, I think about four years ago is when we did the floor, and then 
the COVID shutdown interrupted our ceiling project. Mm -hmm. um, and even before the floor, we redid the wiring in here because is believe, the ceiling project complete? Wanted, yes. yes. Okay, I was going to yep. say, it looks good. Yep. Good. So, yes. Uh, so, you know, we've really done a lot of work in here, and it was time to focus on out there, which is your first impression, as I'm sure you guys know, is working in realty. First impression yeah. is extremely important. Yes. And curb yeah. appeal. Uh, we yes. had negative curb appeal out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is so, it is looking so good. It's, it's not completed yet, but, um, you know, if you're watching, come down and just like drive by. If you're not going to come in, yeah. I mean, you really should come in, but just drive by and see. It's a huge difference, and um, we're just really excited. It's a long time coming. Now, on the it one really side is. of your building, I noticed there are big, huge the doors. doors. They actually work? No. I didn't think so, they, but they um, look cool. Yeah, yeah, we had these big wood doors along our third street side. Um, there were doors there before, wood doors, but they were painted white. They were rotting, you know, at the bottom. They were paint was peeling off. So we had those rebuilt to match what it would have been long, long cool. ago. And they are gorgeous. No, they, yeah, they are great. gorgeous. They are. And uh, and it does give it the feel of a factory. Yes, it, you know what I mean. Yep. Even it does, it does look old. It has that old look. But it's but new. It, not rotting it looks away. New. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, exactly. it looks like a new factory. Yeah. 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 And actually, those doors, um, you know, our lobby has two of those doors on the outside of it. So what that is, those were old, like, paint base. That's why you have these oh, long, okay. skinny rooms in the back. That's okay. where the trucks were pulled in and painted. So. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. 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 So you'll have you'll have the name up front I like at the entrance I'm assuming yes so we we had a sign on the building and <laughs> it was really high up and now we took it down to put it over the door and it's like oh that sign isn't as pretty when it's this much closer so I think we're in the works for a new sign but yes there will be okay. a, a new sign cool. and yeah <sighs> so yeah we're excited, so excited. About it's looking good so yeah. far yeah, yeah. We're really thank you about that. so now that you're free to move about a little bit more right at least for hopefully, at least for the time being. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of programs and activities you got going on? So uh, I definitely want to touch on the blacksmithing. Yes. Um, so I want you to touch on that. Okay, too. good. I will touch on it very briefly. Um, so <laughs> we, so of course during the pandemic we had, um, you know, we were not doing our live blacksmithing demonstrations, but we picked that back up. They're once a month, every uh, one Saturday a month, ten to two. And the blacksmithing takes place on one of, correct me if I'm wrong, nine original forges. I think six. It's a reconstruction of the... Of one of our original mm -hmm. forges. And it's okay. in this building here? Yeah. So it's like that way okay. and up. It's, uh, it takes place in our 1872 carriage factory, okay. which is mostly all original. Uh, looks a, a lot for the most part like it would have in 1872. And as Kendra said, we, it's one of our reconstructed forges. And we have multiple blacksmiths that come in one day a month and they smith uh, on that forge, which is kind of neat. So um, you don't get to see blacksmithing on a, what we would consider, yes, it's reconstructed, but a, original forge yeah. um, from the carriage factory days, which is where we, um, we really all started in 1872. That's technically when we started our business, 1872, and went till 1990. So we're very proud of that. Wow, it's a long cool. run. But yeah, it's yeah, a real long run. Really long run. Yeah. So, yeah, you can come in one Saturday a month, see live blacksmithing on the forge. The blacks blacksmiths are great. They're really yeah. knowledgeable, friendly, great with kids. Um, and that's coming up this Saturday, right? This Saturday yeah. is the next. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Like I, I love just, it, too. I just have a personal interest in blacksmithing and forging and it's all awesome that stuff. It's awesome to watch. It's it, really it's cool It's super, watch. super yeah. interesting. And, and, and it... It shows you that the more things change, the more they kind of excuse me stay the same, right? Mm -hmm. My middle son's a mechanic and a welder. Just got hired over at Heritage in Pottstown. Oh, they make great. limousines and hearses, That's and ambulance awesome. bodies. They're getting into recreational vehicles. Cool. And um, he's a welder and a mechanic. And um, what he's doing, the technology's different. But at the heart of it, what he's doing isn't that much different than what they did in 1872. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly it's, right. It's super cool. It's yes. really neat. 
It's and a, li- it's a direct that. link to the past. It is. Mm-hmm. And when you see it, and especially I don't, like when we take kids around on tours, especially, I'm talking like, you know, kids under 10. When I take them up there and I explain that, and I always say, does anyone know what blacksmithing is? And some pe- some of the kids don't. And then they say, well, I watch Forged in Fire on the history, <laughs> which yeah, I love that go. show. It's yeah. a freaking awesome show. Yeah. Yeah. And I say that, and they're into it. And then I say, you know, you can come in and see this live blacksmithing. They've never seen it. A lot of them don't even know what it is. So... I really encourage like people that are watching to honestly bring their kids in for this blacksmith thing. Oh, it's my, a my kids really love it the times we've seen it. Yeah, I mean, how how it. could you not love it? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Yeah. It's banging on metal. metal. There's wow. sparks yeah. flying. Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah, it's, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great. And what's interesting is, you know, you can imagine um, blacksmiths of that time, you know, smithing um, a, you know, a tool out of metal that they would have used to build the carriage up there. So you can watch the blacksmith smithing um and then you can turn around and look at our stagecoach and literally see what that piece would have been made for which is of course one of the stagecoaches or buggies carriages up there cool so it's kind of neat it really our museum you know you can see something from the start and you can see it till it's done which i think is a unique part of our museum so i'm going to say again that we're we're in the museum today for people watching um so if you get a ticket here do you get to see that as well it's included. Yes. Okay. Yep. It's all included. Yep. About when they're not blacksmithing, can you still go to that area of the museum? Yes. Yes. Awesome. It's open all the time. Um, Ten dollars is our admission. Kids fifteen and under are free. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, so, bring your kids in um, and, and see the blacksmithing. It's it's really wonderful. And yeah, you pay the admission, you get to see all of it. And we we everything. did that because we wanted people to not be intimidated. You know, I mean, I have three kids. I know yep. what some things cost. <laughs> and then, of course, sometimes if your kid's not cooperating, you're there for like 20 minutes if you're lucky. And then you paid $15 for I, what? I know. Yeah. I paid a whole lot of money you for, know, 10 minutes. for 20 minutes of people not tearing their hair out. So, um, <laughs> you know, we wanted it to be something where you could feel like it was a good, affordable thing, activity for your family to do. So. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a blog on parks because it was I, I was saying hey you know we're all spending a lot of money this summer because everybody's finally able to out. get <laughs> out <laughs> whether it's dinner or whether mm-hmm. it's vacations or whatever so that brings me to I mean so I was talking about parks you know parks are pretty much free you know small emissions sure mm-hmm. this is another good good idea to mm-hmm. take the family to for a day sure mm-hmm. you know for sure like yeah. if you want you, the summer's not over yet you want to get out and do yeah. something yes I mean we're open seven Again, days the, a week. Again, the kids will love it. The adults will love it. It's per, yeah. it's great for the whole family. Yeah. 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 I think so, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was my commercial for the day. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's pretty good. Nice little plug. So I'm going to plug up a whole bunch of stuff right now. This is the Castic Locker. Uh, we're on every Wednesday at 6-ish. We just so happen to be on time today. Yes, we were on time. We why did we not pat ourselves on the back like immediately when the, as soon as I didn't want to jinx us. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting down with the lovely ladies from Boyertown Museum of Historic Vehicles, which is on eighty five South Walnut oh Street in the lovely borough of Boyertown. Um, you can find them on Facebook at Boyertown Museum. They have several, sh- excuse me, YouTube Boyertown Museum. They have several different video series that you can watch on YouTube. And they can find, Don't you forget can Instagram. find them on Instagram yeah. yes. and on Facebook. <laughs> yes. We're pretty Come up to down date. here. <laughs> He's excited about not Instagram. Not right now, though. Okay, I'm not. Well, you, you, you said you're trying. <laughs> I Instagram. love Instagram. I love Instagram because I love pictures. I mean. I haven't even delved into Instagram <laughs> yet. It's I'm, just pictures. I need somebody to show me what to There's do. There's video now, too, and stuff but like that. But you guys yeah, want people we're, we're to not check there yet. out Instagram. <laughs> yeah, we're not there yet, either. Pictures you are cool enough. You want people to check yes. out Instagram. Please That's do. That's the new thing. Go yes. over to their Instagram page. Like it, share it, do whatever you do on Instagram. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I do know that neither do a, we. <laughs> I do know that it's a picture-based platform, and they yep. have tons of cool stuff to take pictures yep. of. Yeah. Yes. So get involved one way or the other. Come on down here. Yes. Um, and I, I think that yeah, the yeah, next big talk topic. Yes. Story Jeff's days. excited. Yeah. 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 Ooh, there you go. Let's cover that. Oops. Well. 
So we didn't 4th. happen last Woo! year. No, it did not no. happen last so year. So we're all anxious now. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's, a, it's a... It's we a, know. <laughs> we know. Yeah, we're, we know how excited no, everyone we, is. We, we've me. actually gotten it. Um, we, we do accept... It's our car and truck and motorcycle show, and we take pre-registrations. We do have day of show registration as well. Um, but I will say our pre-registered vehicles is up. Where, where do you this think you're? Year. Where do you think you're at right now? Probably at about 130. I cool. think that's a lot for pre-registered. For pre-registered, yeah, yeah. that yeah. is a lot. Um, now the day of the show, if the weather's good, we've gotten. I think 680 something was, was the a, highest. It's wow. like a oh. huge. Show. It was even yeah. closer to 700. Yeah. If you don't know about car shows, just saying. That's a lot of vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you yeah. like car shows, you got to come to this one because we're not joking when we say 700 vehicles. Like, it was literally mind blowing that year. Um, and I think what's neat about our show is we don't care what you bring. Uh, you'll see early steam vehicles. Okay. So you can, you can, anything from early steam, or you can, you know, you can drive up your 1991 Honda Civic. Sweet. We really don't care. So I think that opens it up to, a lot of different people, which is what I like about the show, because yeah. we take anything. It's not like, oh, you have to have a, you know, it must an be old antique plate or something. Thirty years like that. Yeah, old, yeah. and yeah, we don't care. If you think your car's <laughs> cool and you want to show it at a car show, um, register your vehicle and, and bring, bring it, it to dirt. Yeah. That's right. Bring it. Hot rods, uh, rat rods, machines, super, yeah, things that are all stock and original. Really cool motorcycles. Yeah, trucks and like delivery trucks, but also like big, big rigs. Max fire engines. So oh yeah. yeah, all that stuff. Oh my god, it's incredible. Cool. Nice. Military. So lay it on us. When's yeah. Dory a day? So it is sep- Saturday, September fourth, from nine a.m. to two p.m. And we have it in Boyertown Community Park, which is a beautiful park. Yes. Um, Shaded. Yeah. That's that, interesting to note. That <laughs> is a good thing because we have been to car shows where there is no shade. There's, yeah. And it is and it's usually not any shade. I yeah. went Hot. to one year. I went to the Eastwood car show. Yes. In Pottstown. Yeah, we've gone. They mm-hmm. had it at the airport. Mm-hmm. Now, fortunately, it was a little overcast that day, but that's a that's a prime example <laughs> because mm-hmm. they actually had the shows. On the runway, Macadam. the cars right. were pulled up onto the Macadam runway so the at the airport. Oh, it's baking terrible. off of there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So give me that date one more time because I'm going to put it in the comments so that people can see it. It's, it's Saturday, September Saturday, September fourth, at Boyertown Park. Yep. Pre-registration strongly encouraged this year, just so we can keep a handle with everything going on. But um, you can show up day of, like like Kendra said. We know you know you guys watch the weather. You know, yeah. I don't want to come up. Now, with the I was going to get aggressive. I don't know how to spell Dory. <laughs> Here, ready? D U R. All right, I almost had it. Dory Day. <laughs> All right, it's now in the comments. Very good. Jill Kendra Diffenderfer is saying hello. That also. Hello, Jill. That oh. reminds Another me Kendra. to remind oh. you. To put your questions and comments yes, absolutely. into the live stream, we do monitor the questions and comments on both Facebook and YouTube. We do have somebody watching on YouTube, and I'm encouraging everybody to go subscribe to our YouTube channel, Glocker Realty and Insurance. There's a lot of good stuff to watch. And I'm sure there. there's questions because these ladies are full of information. Oh boy. Yes. yes. And Probably I have not a about question. The right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's. I, I have a question have a that I'm going to ask right now. Go ahead. Okay. So, but if someone asks on there, we'll try, definitely try to get to it. Um, so, Dorier, who is it? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I know his first name. What is it? Charles. Oh. Matt has been watching our shows and videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that proves it. Yes, um, I guess I'll start. Kendra can pick up, but it's uh, named after a man named Charles Durier. And Charles and his brother Frank are known for manufacturing the first gasoline powered automobile. That what is the appropriate way to say this? The first commercially available. Car, like a production car, like to be sold to like. That's us a lot of comments there. Here. No, it wasn't a lot. It, it, it is. Just a couple. <laughs> well, the the reason that you know we qualify it like that, and that's it's not just us. That's just the way he's considered by the historians because there were so many people just like 
making cars in their backyard, like for themselves okay. or tinkering and stuff. We have a car like that actually on display here at the museum that was built in Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. And he's earlier than Duryea, but yeah. you know, he had no intention of selling or mass producing. He had, didn't file patents. So there's no way we can like definitively date that kind of stuff. Duryea, we have have the record. And what's we the, what's the, the date on him? That's what I was going to say. Oh, 1890? Um, he, yeah, started. him and his brother built it 1892. And that's in America? In Massachusetts. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Then he moved to uh, the brothers Charles. did not get along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frank and Charles. Charles moved to Reading. That's where our story starts. Oh, uh, okay. Because he built these vehicles in Reading, Pennsylvania. So. Um, and what year was that? Do we know? Well, the, uh, 96? 1900, he started in Reading. Okay, see, I'm okay. way off. This he is went somewhere else between Massachusetts years, and here, he? and then he came to Reading. And he did a lot. He did. He's an odd duck. He's an, <laughs> yes. And he was like an inventor to like the core of inventing and what I would consider like a progressive for his time. Um, if you guys come in and see our collection of Duryea's, which is one of the biggest in the country, just saying. Um, <laughs> right here in Boyertown. Right here in right Boyertown. 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 You're going to see like a tiller. For instance, which is um, uh, not a steer. He didn't like steering wheels. Again, he was an odd guy. Yeah, totally. So he did uh, the so tiller. So it's like a, uh, like a boat. A, it's, it's literally oh, like a, yeah. it's, it's just a, a lever. stick. It looks like a lever yeah. that yes. you turn left or right. It does like everything. Uh, again, good idea behind it. He had a lot of good ideas, um, but some of his things just didn't take off. Uh, he wasn't really doing what the people wanted. He's a little behind in the times. If you guys come in, you'll see his older vehicles are looking still like carriages, uh -huh. uh, where the vehicles of that time are starting to look like what we would consider like a vehicle. Right. So he's kind of, you know, a little, little behind there, but um, it's named after Charles Duryea, Duryea uh, Hill Climb. When well, Duryea you can probably, Drive? You can, Duryea, Duryea Drive. Drive, you can probably talk more on that about why that is yeah, that, so which Dur is really cool. Duryea Drive is named for him because that was his test track. To go up that hill? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. every car. I knew that. Literally. Which That's if, pretty cool. That. If uh, the viewers have gone up Duryea Drive, they know, you know, it's steep. It's hairpin <laughs> turns. Takes you to the pagoda. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Yep. yep. And uh, to do that in one of these interesting contraptions that he was building is... It's pretty crazy. Woo, yeah. I think so. And uh, actually, what's also interesting about him is he had his daughter, Rhea, yes. as his main test driver. <laughs> His daughter. Uh, and <laughs> I, there's a in picture. In 1900. There's some more women's That's history. That's right. There's right. a photo there of her on one of our signs with her so, big hat, you know, So and you her could kind of say that she was the first test driver she of was, commercially produced She was vehicles. one of the first, for sure. Definitely. I would, I would be, actually, I think I would be more scared going downhill than I, going yes, uphill. Yes, I agree. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, with modern brakes. Yeah. And yeah. Modern brakes. <laughs> yeah. It was probably just some, like, you pulled on a lever on an old wagon wheel. Uh, like, yeah. your, Remember your, your ghost door brakes? Your Hats out. flying yeah. off the first flying behind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally probably what it looked yeah. like. Yeah. And she writes letters, it's interesting, like, about... Drive, she was young. I mean, she was like, I don't know, like under 25, I'll say, young woman. And she was driving around Reading in the early 1900s in her dad's vehicles, which she says she never drove the same one twice because he was produced many Cranking different uh, models of a vehicle. And she loved it. She said all the schoolboys were like pissed. <laughs> like they didn't even like, you know, they couldn't even dream of owning a vehicle. She's driving. A new one vehicles. every day. <laughs> new one every day. And she loved it. And, um, I'd like to giggle at that because I think that was probably pretty cool. To yeah. be like, hey, Absolutely. And she's like driving these vehicles <laughs> around Reading. But like, picture that 1900, a woman, big yeah. flowing hat. Yeah. Literally was, driving a car around the around the town. Not many cars. It was important to him. Well, women, she the probably women's couldn't movement even was important. Vote. Think about no. that. No, that's right. Probably. That's what I'm saying. She that's could. couldn't saying. vote. Yes. She couldn't vote, but she could drive a car because yeah. that was important to him. He was a women's advocate and he loved the fact that it was easy to drive for anybody. Cool. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. He's a neat guy. So, uh, so the Model T, the Ford Model T, kind of made it made the car accessible to everybody, right? Like, not everybody, but more people. Democratized the car. That's a good way to put it. So, yeah. what, what, like, when did the car manufacturing start in America? I think really. Pro I mean, I think within 
very quickly of the Duriers debuting their car, it that's was on. The, that's when it was yeah. on. It was on. Yeah. And uh, you know they entered a race, uh, the first kind of official race in the United States. Uh, in Time the, in the Chicago area, yeah, yeah, and it was the day after Thanksgiving, and they it dumped this huge snowstorm just dumped on Chicago the night before, and I believe the Duryea won. It did. He did. Yes, because I get yeah. confused because there's another race similar. London to Brighton, wasn't it? Mm, there's another one that was big and like Ford got disqualified. Oh, that's right. that, that was a different one. Yeah. It's too much info in my head. Yeah. I can't keep it straight. If it was Star Trek, I'd keep it straight. Anyway, um, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's another installment. <laughs> yeah, have me back. Um, but that race was so important for Durier and for the American car industry because because he won and he won against European cars, and they were so far ahead of us technologically. The fact that a the American car didn't just crap out that's before right. the end and b it won yeah that's right that was huge and I think it was almost like a self esteem boost for everybody, the manufacturers. But then I also think for maybe like people here at home, it was like oh this is actually like a feasible thing like yes. this isn't like a pie in the sky I- idea yes um, but there were there were car manufacturers everywhere and uh, that's. One of the things that I think makes this place so special is because we have those oddball ones that were there at the beginning and we don't hear about anymore, but they're here. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to see examples no. of these anywhere else. No, you're and just they're, not. They're here. And they're Pennsylvania I mean, oddballs. So I yeah. think that's what makes it even neater. It's like, okay, cool. Like, again, with Detroit, it's like, maybe because I work here, it's like, okay, I'm sick of hearing about Detroit. We're in the hub. These are the cool vehicles. These are the one-offs, as they call them. Um, we have one here. It's a Misano. It was built for a guy. Just one car built for one guy. Never built again. Never anything like that. Just, just a car built for a guy because he was rich and he had money. We have that vehicle. We have a Sears. We have a, we have a vehicle that came off the railroad. You got it in crates and uh, you put it together you and you ordered together it out of the Sears backyard. Roebuck catalog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we just Sears, have you could build anything from any Sears. Houses. houses, everything. They had houses. Yeah. 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 You can put it together. Yeah. I would have just been homeless because I can't put anything together. But I'd be I mean, living in the crate that it I'd came be in. living yeah. in the crate on the railroad. Yes. Well, that's the original crate car. Like yeah. they they talk about crate engines and crate mm. transmissions. That's right. That yeah. was a crate car. And yeah. there's still kit cars today. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So where so, are we at, man? I think, I think we're, we're coming we're there, down yeah. to the time in the show where we find I out. I mean, we what's could talk to these ladies for much longer. A lot, lot. Ooh. I'm sure Ooh. we're doing go- the dance. We're I did it last night. I, I moved this way one time. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's actually, can I? I had to. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I want to say real quick because we wanted to talk about this. Before this already happened, this event already yeah, happened. Yeah, I know what she's gonna say. But yeah. uh, I think we want to try it again next summer. We had in July an electric vehicle show in our parking lot. It was. Super amazing and cool, and I think went about 300 times better than we thought it was going to go. Yep. Um, we took out one of our old electrics from 1919, because they, yes, did have electric cars back from the beginning. There's one, maybe <laughs> no you can that. see in your view as you're looking down the, the yes, line there. The big, that the big, big there. gray the monster. Big truck. Yeah. Yep. We took out our 1919 electric. We had a very generous uh, friend of the museum lend us his 1933 gas electric hybrid. Wow! This thing is hybrid so freaking car wow. from yeah. the 30s, and then uh, that's some technology right I there. I know it was awesome, crazy. And then we had um, electric vehicle racing. Yes. The Entropy Racing Group from Schuylkill County, not far. They yes. came with their electric race cars. And the rabbit. Uh, electric yes. rabbit? And the rabbit. That was my first car. That <laughs> was the rabbit. Not electric, though. Yeah. Well, did you know that rabbits were built in Pennsylvania for a short period of time? I did yeah, not know that. How about... Did you Somerset. know that? Yeah, I did. Okay, you know too much. You're like... My friend Mark... <laughs> I already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> no, nah, my friend Mark 
They built a fox out there, too. They built a Volkswagen fox out what there. What part? What part of Pennsylvania? Uh, Westmoreland. Summer, yeah, Westmoreland County. I was going to say Somerset, that, but it was new as out huh. there. My buddy Mark, guy I go hunting and fishing with, who's also a historian. He's retired from the National Park Service. He worked there on their line. Oh, cool. When oh, When he cool. was a kid. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how I know that. <laughs> so before she gets to the cool part about it, go on our YouTube page. Yeah. There is a series called Up on Blocks, which is done by one of our board members. He has an episode about that plant, the Volkswagen it plant, awesome. and oh, cool. the history of it and what they I did there. I would definitely there. check so, that out. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, Up on so Blocks. Why would we have a Volkswagen Rabbit in an electric vehicle show? Because, um, so in Westmoreland, PA, uh, as Matt already knew, uh, I blew up my spot. <laughs> Mr. No, um, Mr. No it all like, over here. <laughs> I know, so it's like, I don't I'm know a history anything. geek. You are a history geek. <laughs> but I love that. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so rab uh, Volkswagen Rabbits were built in Pennsylvania. And what happened was um, a group that I don't remember the name of. I don't. I, I think cannot it's remember uh, South Coast Technology. That makes sense. Or Suncoast. It's Suncoast. I keep thinking Suncoast. Like that the just movie makes me think of the video store. <laughs> yeah. I think it's South Coast. They basically sent a bunch here to our Batronic division because we had a, a division, electric division here at Boyertown Auto Body Works called the Batronic division. And they sent us these rabbits to convert from gasoline to electric. And that's right here. What, right, right here, here where we're sitting. Cool. So the reason behind this, like when Kendra and I started uh, thinking about this event, and what we think of when we do a lot of events is getting new people in here and younger people. And I'll be honest, when I'm sure Kendra would agree, when we were growing up, you had a Honda, you had a Volkswagen. Every I think every guy I dated had a had a VW. Like everyone had Did you Volkswagens. Date me? What? Did you date me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just kidding. That's, I, I still That's drive, another I still drive. <laughs> I still drive Next a week on but they're the great cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great yeah. cars. Yeah. And that was like kind of a big deal for like our age group. I mean, honestly, that was just a big trend. And we thought, why not try and get those type of people into the museum? And a lot of them probably might not know that, you know, Volkswagens were built in PA, but not only that, we converted them. So I think that's the really special part Pretty cool. is that they were converted really here cool. to electric. I didn't know that. See, so you did teach. I got and they were now. now it's funny because uh, one of our board members and he spoke at the event. He was the engineering manager for that division. So he was in charge of this product project kind of here on site. And he co he told us, you know, what they did with them. All. I loved that. And. One of the, the cool things, too, is they did the conversion here. And then this I didn't know till he came in and sent us that thing. They drove them to a barn in Gilbertsville that the South Coast Technology had leased for this project specifically. And that's where they did, like, the fine tuning. And then they drove them back here and then shipped them out. Nice. So we're spanning the two towns. Yeah. yeah. We cross Route 100 and yeah. we span the two towns. It's together. really neat. Right there. Yeah. And it just shows how much history is here in Boyertown in this building in the body works that people just don't know about. I mean, when I found that out, I was like totally blown away by it. I thought that was just the neatest. Yeah, that's really cool. Thing. I had no idea about that. It was at a neat all. event. Of all the, the car, the cars that we took out there and then. There were probably 25 to 30 Teslas, Nissan Leafs, Mustang Mach-E's. That rabbit maybe got the most attention. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. It's Which a crazy, lovely 80s but, brown. Oh, yes. <laughs> like they yeah. do. Well, um, it's like, uh, the, but like it's they do. the cream, <laughs> oh the, the like golden harvest and the brown. You know, it's got like. The golden the, harvest. Yes, yes, exactly. It's gorgeous. <laughs> It's a great color. And all it's, it's awesome. 1981 I love how they know glory. The color palette. Yeah. <laughs> the golden harvest, I believe, is what I had. Is it really? <laughs> it's yellow Seriously golden though. harvest? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, I do remember. Mine was bright yellow. I remember. Is that oh. golden harvest bright yellow? I do remember it was pretty your bright. Like that mustardy dude. yellow. No, mine was yellow. yellow. Oh, yeah. I, I remember okay. that car. Oh, neat. It, it yeah. could have been painted. I don't think That's it was, neat, though. though. I don't think it was. What year yeah. was it? 81. Yeah. Dang, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's and bizarre. It, in 81. And it had the sunroof. Hello. <laughs> that's the crank right yes. there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Leather seating. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was Deck a hot rod. It was a hot rod. It was a hot rod. great on a 100 degree day, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> so that's awesome. So that's the local link to electric vehicles. Yes. And you guys have an electric vehicle charging station mm -hmm. here. 
Yes, so we have chargers for um, Tesla vehicles, but we also have uh, chargers for your everyday um, electric vehicle as well. So they're on um, the side of our warehouse building. Uh, when you're, let's say you're standing in front of the museum facing outward, you can see them right to your left. And uh, we welcome visitors and members to charge their electric vehicle whenever, whenever they need to charge. And you, will you swipe a credit card? How does it work? No, we, it's on us. What? Come up and charge. I'm feeling, buying. I'm buying a Tesla tomorrow. We're feeling now. generous Drive, right just now. Just to get the free electric. Yeah. <laughs> Drive your Tesla to Boyertown. Take a tour. Yes. Walk around yes. town. Charge up your car. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Come on. It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day. And then you yeah. can rate our charging station because that's a thing apparently. Oh really? Yes. So yeah, There's there ratings for this. Five star review. For rate us Tesla high. <laughs> How are you rated? When you're getting so far? a free high. electric charge, you? can you even rate it less no. than a five? I mean seriously. <laughs> right. That's right. right. This thing didn't work. Well, maybe, I didn't it know. <laughs> maybe it rates on speed and efficiency I know, but of still. the charging. Yeah. That's true. It could. Still. I mean, they tell the. I've talked to a few of them that have driven like a distance. You know, they're not like locals. They drove here and and charged, and then they say like. You know, we do look for stuff to do while yeah. our car is charging. So yeah, I, I mean, mean, this is so convenient. Better to do, Walk right? across the yeah. street and see the car's grandparents great. sitting in here. Matthew Lozano. Lozano. Lozo. Lozo. He's one of our treasured Matthew volunteers. Yes. Lozo is encouraging people to drive their Teslas to Doria Day. Yes. Right. Sure. Your Tesla sure, why Doria not? Doria Day. Right? Everybody wants to yes. look at a Tesla. You may do that. I don't want to take too much time away from you, but I do want to say this. They're drag racing Teslas down at Maple Grove. Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> so these guys reprogram their Teslas. Yeah, I mean, that's and pretty they take, crazy. They cause... take the regulators off of them. They're <laughs> dusting everything. Of course. Uh, my son, Pat, it's... went down there and said these test tests. You can't touch them. So I, I, I would assume instant. It's it's instant. Yeah. Well, I believe power. that. So yeah. I'm, yeah. Assuming, yeah. I'm assuming what's going to rank you better in your Tesla is you're going to have to reinforce things because I mean, like you said, there's, there's no, there's no middle ground. It doesn't power up. Right. It goes right. Boom. boom. Yeah. So you have to have the, the body has to have the strength to be able to withstand that. That, that Joel. acceleration. Yeah. Shuddering. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. For real. He yeah. went down there and he was like that. It's amazing. No, they'll wipe These Teslas everything. are wiping sure. everything off the map. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's neat what they're doing. I mean, when they, I mean, that makes sense because like, when we talk about the Batronic division here of the Body Works, they were trying to build delivery bodies and or delivery trucks and buses that were electric. That was their goal. And in theory, that makes a lot of sense because when you're not accelerating, when you're idling, you don't expel energy in an right. electric. Right. electric. And those are two vehicles that idle all the time. So. Yeah. And then it makes sense, and it doesn't, for you to, when you're in a gas car and you're stopped and you let off the gas pedal and it go, or put, go on the gas pedal to accelerate, you're expending a lot of energy to go from yes. zero to nothing. And these electrics aren't doing that. So in theory, it made sense. I think that in the time period that they were doing this here, which started in 67, you know, that like battery technology and stuff just wasn't there yet. Um, it has gotten better, and the infrastructure too. I mean, well, how do you get charged? I think the electric part, the, or the um, the environmental part of it. You know, back in the day, for lack of a better word, but all the way back to the beginning, but also when the Batronic Division was going on, the environmental push wasn't there like it is today. First of all, back in if we go way back to 1910, let's just say, nobody even knew. But uh, even as we progress there in time, people didn't appreciate or have the knowledge to know how much it was like hurting our environment. So I think today it helps these electrics because people have that, um, you know, they're environmentally conscious, which at that time we just weren't. Um, so I think that's also helping the electrics today yeah. propel forward. See what I did? I, 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 we I saw it. We see what you did okay. there. We that's heard it. Nice. You're, you're smart. <laughs> so are you, Thank Mr. You. I know everything already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. All right. Let's get the snort, man. Let's get into what's the, going down in Boyertown. What's going down in Boyertown. All right. That's my, besides know. us sitting here geeking out on history and cars. That is my <laughs> event blog at JeffKnowsBoyertown.com. Oh, I thought it was sitting here geeking out no, on no, history no. and cars. <laughs> 
Vent What's blogger. going down in Boyertown? <laughs> Vent blog. Every Wednesday, Thursday, it comes out. I put it out, and uh, <clears throat> I show all the events that I can find that are happening in Boyertown and around the Boyertown area. Um, we talked about some events already that Woo-hoo. the uh, museum is putting on. But um, I also do, I write up about something, and I'm going back to the rail bike today. I already wrote up about it before when they first introduced it, which was March. I mean, I think, I think their first uh, ride was May of this year. Yeah, it was yeah, in the spring. Right. And, and sure. it blew up. I mean, it was just like the demand is, it was crazy. They couldn't keep up with the demand. It was selling out like quicker than the s- months in advance. They crazy. actually got more rail bikes they got and more built ra- more yeah. rail bikes to keep up with the demand. And they're, and they're, and they're, and they're basically slowed down the trip. For right now, they slowed down the uh, trail. I mean, the train uh, excursions. The train schedule's been <laughs> yeah. changed for the bikes. For the bikes, for the bikes, yep. Good. Um, because there was such a demand. So I'm, d- I'm just going back to that, that original article and just kind of giving an update. Um, they do have, uh, they opened up a lot more slots, and they have got more bikes. So now, each weekend, you should be able to get on a rail bike. Wow. Hopefully. It is neat. They do still Very sell cool. out each weekend, but... You know, they're not wow. at least months in advance anymore. So until October 1st, they're they're like doing a lot of concentrating on the rail bike. Nice. So I just talked about that. Um, as for the events, I pulled out a couple events here. There's a lot going on this week and this weekend. Um, but I pulled out a few that were kind of interesting. Um, First of all, I like to always talk about the State Theater because I love the State Theater. Oh, we yeah. love the State yeah. Theater, too. Yeah, it's such a yep. great place. It is really neat. Talk about history. I mean, there's another <coughs> great his- oh, yeah. historical spot in Boyertown. Um, but they have uh, Free Guy starting this Friday. And do you guys know what Free Guy is? All I know is Ryan Reynolds is in it. That's all I care about. So <laughs> That's the same thing my wife cares about. All I know is Deadpool's yeah. in it. Don't and care I'm all right with what that. about, but I will be seeing it. Yes. <laughs> It's cool because it's about a bank teller who discovers it's actually in the background of a of a video game, basically. Okay. That is neat. That, and uh, yeah. and kind of takes over. Have you seen that's the all preview? I can tell you. No. It do- it does look cool. No, it, it, it looks pretty cool. It does cool. look cool. Oh, it's pretty so cool. It's a I great idea. It. Free guy. Free guy. It's an arcade reference. A yeah. free guy. Yeah. He got a free guy. <gasps> oh yeah. I didn't even get that. Damn either. you. <laughs> he knows everything. <laughs> Up, up, awesome down, though. down, I left, right, left, right, <laughs> A, B, B, A, start. Think of that. Free guy. We nice. should have known that. You okay. Know. Known that. Believe me, we should have known <laughs> that. Yeah. Guy. Wow, that's awesome. It. So that's the this Friday, starting at the State Theater. <coughs> Go check it out. Um, also, Washington Grill and Pub in Bechtelsville has line dancing. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a line dancing kind of guy. Never but a line dance in my life. But I, I, I but think I would it's try interesting. It. Yeah, try. it is interesting. I, I, I would agree. try it. Yeah. I would not try it because I know <laughs> I'd look like a fool. And <laughs> I'd go well, watch it. I know I I'd look like watch a fool, it. but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I would go watch it. Yeah. Go have a drink and watch it. But that so they're, they're doing line <laughs> dancing at the Washington Grill and Pub, if you're interested in that. Um, that happens uh, this Friday at 9 p.m. Saturday, Izzy's on 3rd in Boyertown at 1 p.m. is having a toga party. I saw that. <laughs> and now, first of all. Izzy's is having a toga uh, yeah, party. Yeah, which really, like, I'm Washington's surprised. Washington's is doing line <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's crazy, right? So Boyertown's we're going from going, the road. Where are area. we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're covering a lot we're of covering genres. We're covering a lot of stuff going on here. But yeah, toga party. Wow. Yeah, you grab your, your sheet, sheet, your white your sheet. sheet. And yeah. Tie it around you. Lord. Yeah. I will say this, though. If I expected there to be country line dancing anywhere, it would be Bechtel's. <laughs> I agree with that. At, and I have to say, right? at the Washington Inn. Yeah. Not that I don't like the Washington Inn. I've, I've right. drank there many times. Right. But that's where I would expect. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> but what really threw me was the toga was party. Was the toga party. Yeah. yeah, yeah that. I mean, and I just feel like a toga party shouldn't start till at least, at least 11 o'clock at night, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Jeff's never been to a toga party, if, if. obviously. Oh, is one o'clock a good time for a toga party? <laughs> I don't know. Party? I felt I was being sarcastic. Like I feel like that's a good time. Oh. Like the later, the better. Like obviously, yeah, yeah. like I, um, I already want to be like three sheets. That's what I mean. That's to put on my sheets. white sheet. I see what you did there. That's nice. I was I was digging around for a three sheets. Right. Hey, I got my I got my too. I got my flip flops already. You beat me. So to I got that going on. I love nice. That. I and then you just need some holly or the something. The holly, yeah. and you're good to go. I just think of Animal House. Yes, Animal House. Oh, exactly. That's that's all that is in my head. So, when's right now. the toga party, dude? One o'clock on Saturday. Dang, in the afternoon. Early. In the afternoon. They're day drinking.
drinking. Stay drinking. Because, if, again, if oh, you're togan, you know. it's going to be some drinking. Yeah. Drinking. <laughs> and where better to do it than Izzy's right. in Boyertown? And when you get really good and drunk, you come on over to the Oh, boy, I'll museum? warn the guys. No, I think you go the other way. Oh, they don't want a bunch of drunk people no, in they here. No, they don't. They don't. You come here. warning out for the weekend. We're not here on the weekend. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to I'm gonna throw out a challenge. I'm going yeah, to yeah, throw out a challenge. Let's hear a challenge. I'm going to put down a $25 gift card okay. to Grameas okay. for anybody that sends us a picture with their <gasps> toga. Oh, nice challenge. At, at the Boyertown Historic Car Museum. No! Oh, my God. Yes. yes, please, everyone do this and tag us on Instagram I'm and Facebook. I'm throwing that okay. down. That's a good one. That is amazing. <laughs> first I'll one, back it up. First one I get. Do you want to do two? Yeah. First two. two that we receive. First two. First two pictures we received, you got to be in a toga. Yep. You got to be at the historic <laughs> vehicle museum. For sure. I love that. We'll throw down some gifts or tips. Oh my gosh, right. I love that. I better warn Get the weekends. Yep. Yeah. And you know what Gourmet's has? Baked oatmeal. Absolutely. <laughs> Gourmet's is, is a very nice place to get breakfast. Yeah. I do like Gourmet's. Yeah. We give a lot of Gourmet's gift cards do you? away. I like Gourmet's. Yeah. Great and place. Jill Diffenderfer, our assistant, loves it. <laughs> she can't get enough of that baked apple pie. So I'm throwing or that apple down. Whatever I'm throwing it is. that down. So spread That's the word awesome. or do it yourself. Oh, boy. There's gift certificates on the table. Oh, my God, I love And that. That's what, yep. this Saturday? Yep. yep. And we you need got. to see the receipts. Yeah. yeah, I want to yeah. see some photos here. Yeah, I'd love to see the yeah. photos. No, yeah. we'll we'll make sure. Yeah, we'll make we'll sure, make for sure, sure. you tagged in them. Yeah, yes. If we get those photos, we'll share them. But All this right. Saturday, Woo. if you're heading to Izzy's for the Togo party, stop by here first. Visit the museum yep. in your toga. Take a picture. Oh my God, next I love this to so Any much. one of these vehicles. Yep. Jeff and I are going to give you. Has to be in the museum, not this. outside the yes. museum. No. Nope. In the museum. It's in the museum. In the gallery. Yes. The small yes. admission. Yes. Yeah. Oh You're my God, I love this so much. This is a time and a half back your money. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to spend ten bucks to get into the museum, but I'm going to give you twenty five. Right. That's right. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get your sheets out, everyone. Get your Get sheets your out. Sheets Get your sheets out. and the bleach <laughs> out. We want nice, <laughs> crisp, <laughs> clean <laughs> sheets. <laughs> okay. All right. I just so threw that's, it out. That's the toga party. I Autumn, let's go. What are you I'm doing? literally thinking, what, what am doing? I doing? What are you doing Saturday? I'm really, what if Kendra and I show up at the toga? Do we get the $25 gift certificate? <laughs> first two pictures. I didn't say. Hell yeah. First two pictures. This is awesome. First two pictures we get. Oh you gotta post them up to Glocker Realty and Insurance. Yep. I'll have All my right. husband Photoshop Kendra and I in our toga in one of the vehicles that we have. <laughs> you won't be able to tell. We'll <laughs> tell the Photoshop. I love this. So much. That's awesome. All right. So also uh, in the Great Oli Valley, Ooh. we have a summertime wine fest. Everybody likes a little bit of wine, right? Uh, that's two Ooh. to eight p.m. on. Uh, it's just thunder. That Dang, sorry, sorry for the oh, pause there. Like, there was a big oh, thunder. I don't God know if you could hear it over the thing. But um, yeah, summertime wine Come fest the at the Reddy party. Motorcycle yeah. Club in Oli. Oh. And I kind of skipped something. I forgot. We have blacksmithing from ten to ten to two. Two. You can You're in the see carriage that, factory. But when your toga. So, so you can bring your toga. <gasps> don't get don't too get, close. Don't get too close. <laughs> yeah. It's key. Yeah. You don't want to get soot on that. So you're getting like, you're getting the grand tour. That's the deal. Yeah. Come here. That's a deal of a century. Do the blacksmith. <laughs> you can walk from here right over you to can walk, Izzy's. Yeah. You can see That's Izzy's the from thing. here. Yes, sure. we're that close. And I yeah. think if you're coming here, you can just park in the parking lot, and then you got yes. access yeah. to both without moving your car. What, what? Which is a benefit. Yeah. yeah. Send us the picture. $25. Come on bucks. now. Oh, my God, I love this. Don't be a fool. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, also, Ridgewood Winery Ooh. and uh, Bechtelsville, also in Bechtelsville, uh, has a... Backyard concert series that they do over the summer, and they're gonna have Jeff Crick Jr., which is an Elvis impersonator. Yes, I've seen Jeff Crick. He's awesome. That yeah. is, is cool. he really good? That yeah. is yeah. actually yeah. really yeah. cool. Yeah. So that's t that's Saturday night, um, five to eight. That's nice. Neat. Yeah. Ooh, I have not been to their Bechtelsville <coughs> location. I oh, haven't really either, but I'd cool. like to go. But their yeah. Birdsboro one is. It's beautiful. super nice. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And they have actually, a lot of plans for it. It yeah. was a residence. Yeah. And uh, they bought it from somebody, mm -hmm. and they really didn't even have to do much uh, modification to it. The yeah. people, it looks like a restaurant, 
and uh, you go in there and they have a wine tasting bar and everything. But they're redoing the whole bar, the interior of the barn they, for events. They're doing yes. They're putting parking in. They're, I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they have a whole plan that they're yeah. involved in. So. And if you go to Glocker Realty Insurance YouTube page, you can see our past episode with yeah. them. I Tracy? believe it's up. With Tracy. With Ridgewood. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We know Tracy. Tracy. Yep, yep. I don't yeah. remember yeah. their yeah. names. Yeah. The I'm owners sorry. are super people. They're really yeah. good yeah. people. Good, yeah. good place to patronize. Is that by Lazy K? Yes. It yes. is. Okay, I yep. know where that is now. You turn okay. right there and okay. go right at Lazy K. <clears throat> okay, that's yep. cool. Good wine, good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. And then Sunday, you can go back to Ridgewood because they're having music well, bingo okay, then. benefiting <laughs> the ARL, which is <laughs> Animal <laughs> Rescue League <laughs> of Berks County. Of the puppies. Yeah, oh, the yeah. So they're doing a music bingo. Dang. Um, got a lot going on this weekend. And I don't know exactly what music bingo is. I don't know if you have you ever done mi music bingo. I don't know either, but I'll be willing to try. It sounds like something Kendra would be really good at because she's good at music well, trivia. Well, that if depends. It's any, if it's anything like that. If it was music. Uh, maybe that's what it is, like trivia or that's something. That's what like I that. mean. Like, that's actually kind of neat. If Chopper's watching, Chopper, if you're watching, I know that you sh I know Chopper knows. If Does it predates it? Yeah. my I birth, I'd be good at it. That's what I mean. It <laughs> probably will. It probably will. Anything modern, no. I yeah. don't know anything. Yeah. That's cool, though. But yeah, cool. that's, I mean, that's, a, I just, a few of the many things that are happening. Cool. This weekend. Tons to do. See, look and at this, this week. area. It's like hopping. It's yes. hopping. It is. It's great. Well, like, we, what do we say every time? If you don't, if you don't know, if you say that you have nothing to do. Yeah. You, the, it's then just, you're not helping. That's you. ridiculous. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. There's so much stuff to do. You can't even, even if you <clears> wanted to do it all, you couldn't. That's right. And you free. just couldn't. And free. A lot of times, there's a lot, a lot of, of free times stuff. it's free. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Or minimal. Yes, yes, very like minimal. Yes, exactly. Super, super cheap to come here. And if you do this Saturday in your toga and send us a picture of it, you're getting $25. The please first two somebody people. do this. First first you don't know how people. much this will entertain Autumn and I. <laughs> please so please do this. Do first that. two people that posted up at Glocker Realty and Insurance Facebook page that will be the time stamp hashtag three time sheets time to the road it will be time stamp. that's right <laughs> i love it so much oh my god so hey, that's, listen yeah no, no go ahead no, i was just gonna say that's what we got that's, that's, what, that's, that's what's going that's down. what's going down going down and boyatan <laughs> going down and boyatan yeah yeah Parks county mm -hmm. now <laughs> jeff where can people find you on social media just google jeff mm -hmm. at glocker that you're going to come up. And you can see me on Instagram, Facebook. That might be aware. No. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything else YouTube. right now. You're YouTube. on YouTube. I can't think of anything else. Okay. Yeah. I've got other things. They'll find it. I'm on the World the Wide Web. <laughs> All you have to do is search Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. <laughs> I'm on the World Wide Web. I am. That's the Are w you? W Are w you on the World Wide Web? Yeah, I'm on the World Wide Web. I love this so much. All right. It's, I you haven't heard that since I was probably 14. The world, <laughs> when I was waiting for AIM to load. Yes. In my parents' living room. But anyway. Yes. MySpace? You got a MySpace? <laughs> yes, <I'm> a <laughs> am I blushing now? That takes a lot. Yes, I have a MySpace. That's a story for another time. Okay. <laughs> I do not have MySpace. <laughs> I have MySpace. I have Facebook. I guess I still do. I don't. Is it, I don't think it's still around anymore. Is it? No, it still is. Is it? It's the. Is it's Tom one of, still I think there? It's, it's what one I of really the top. Oh, I'm still floating around. It is yeah. now one of the top music sharing sites really? in the MySpace world. Is. Yep. Really? Yeah, MySpace uh. for sharing music. What? Yep. Insanity. Check it out. <laughs> I will. I, I literally am going to you later. That's I amazing. I think they're like number 19. Oh my God. On the list. Wow. Top 20 for sharing music. MySpace. Jeez. Still there. I'll hmm. have to change my profile picture from like the emo like 2002 <laughs> picture that I probably now, I have don't on know, there right I don't now. know about the personal pages, but uh, that's interesting. The, the music sharing platform still exists. Wow. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. Wow. Wow. That's anyway. Jeez. <laughs> I okay. can be found Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. If yes. you search that on your Googles, uh, on, your I will Googles. Come on the World Wide Web, on the World Wide on Web, <laughs> on the WWWs, <laughs> you'll find Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate and everything that I'm doing and all the content that I'm creating. Lots Tomorrow, of good stuff. Yes, content. I'm trying to think if I have any listings that are coming up that people can grab onto. You got anything good? Mm. 
Mm. No, down the pike. Two weeks from now. I have a couple things coming down the pike. Yeah. We'll talk about them shortly. Yeah. The one thing I do have coming down the pike tomorrow, tomorrow at 6 o'clock, Thursdays yes. at 6, Porchcast Pottstown. After your summer hiatus. After the summer summer hiatus, Porchcast Pottstown is coming you know, back to the airwaves. I can, you know what? Last week, I'm going to tell you this. Last week, I think, I think it was, or maybe last week, some it popped up, Porchcast Pottstown. And I'm like, what? I pushed to join in and, yeah. and sure enough your face was there and uh amy amy's face was there we went live that was our planning session yeah. at pub pottstown united brewing but you Company. only went live for awesome. like three seconds yeah right? just to let people know that we were going to be coming back yeah cool uh tomorrow we're back on the airways we have a new time six o'clock on thursdays you can find us matt green at glocker real <coughs> estate on facebook Porchcast Pottstown on YouTube. We're going to be at Pottstown United Brewing Company. Awesome. It's good Tomorrow. beer there. Way to start it off. Really good beer. I like the beer. I like the poutine. I have the poutine recently. Yes. It's a very nice place to The go. food there is unbelievable. It's very good. Yeah, it's really good. Adam Burke is the owner. He's the head chef. Oh. He does a great job with the food. Is United the one really that nice has a place small? To go. It's the small it's the one. Small one, right? Yep. Okay. I right there in there the yet. 200 block of high. The Alley Street. on High is cool too. I like yes. to go there as well. Yep. Have you been to the Iron Gate Beer Garden? No. It's like right next door to the Alley. Oh, that's cool. And oh, then wow. right across the street from Iron Gate Beer Garden is Pottstown United Brewing Company. Yes, I've been there. I liked it a lot. It was very nice. And you should probably go to the very best, oh. the 1921 <laughs> hot dog yeah. place. Yeah. You Come haven't on. had a hot dog from? Do they still do that? Is that like still? It's still a okay, thing. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> special sauce and everything. Hot dogs. Oh, special, special sauce. sauce. <laughs> is it Thousand Island dressing? No, it's like chili. No, that's okay. here. Like you can get that at the Blue Town Inn right uh. up here. The Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> nice. That's actually not a lie. They actually make. That's they true. actually do make the Thousand true. Island dressing at the Blue Town Inn. Did you know that? No. So like growing Poor up, McDonald's? like McDonald's. If you no, but like growing up, did you ever see those bottles around with like, and it just said like Thousand Island dressing Blue Town? No. Literally right there at the Boyertown Inn. Yeah. I know you know what the Boyertown Inn yes, is. Yes, I guess, sure. That's where they made that Thousand Island dressing. And they still make it today. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I mean, somebody I needs to go like on the interwebs and figure it out. I will w- go on the w- World w- Wide <laughs> Web later. Yes. <laughs> and I'll look at Figure into it this. out. Yeah. You don't have to spell it out. You can just do www. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yes, yes, yes. Or in 2021, you just type in www or you just Google the general yeah. subject. You don't need to go on the world It'll wide pop web. right up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're just... We're we just, are. We're, we're just, just talking. Okay. Listen, we're, just talking we're at the Boyertown <laughs> Museum of Historic Vehicles, 85 South Wal- Walnut Street, yes. in the lovely borough of Boyertown, yes. 19512. That's right. Head on over. They got a lot yes. of cool stuff. They got a lot of cool vehicles. <clears throat> Learn about history. You get a great perspective of history, which we talked about earlier. And um, there's plenty to see and do. Check them out. This has been the cast at Glocker. We are on the interwebs <laughs> every Wednesday at 6 ish. 6 ish. Yeah, but this way, this time it was like 6. Yes. Next Wednesday, we'll be be on again at 6-ish. Please tune in. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you, Autumn. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It was fun again. (laughs) Thanks. It's always a good time. (laughs) We will talk to everybody soon. This has been the cast at Glocker. Thanks for tuning in.